Hi, uh, what we have here is Snapdragon 805 with the new Adreno 420 GPU. So Snapdragon 805 is the newest uh, processor in the Snapdragon 800 series. Um, it has new GPU, it has a GPU has a newer architecture. It's, uh, it's specified, I mean the hardware specification is DirectX 11.2, which is the highest level PC, desktop GPUs or uh, gaming consoles. So what, what this brings is high level uh, uh, features like geometry shaders and tessellation. So this particular demo that we are showcasing here, it showcases the tessellation. So I'll actually show over here. It's the next one since this one is connected. So if you go to, um, to the extreme left, this is how the geometry would look on Snapdragon 800. This is how the content has been authored by the developer. You can look at how uh, triangles are scarce, how uh, the ground is pretty flat, there's not many details on the Hornet itself. But as I go and um, the Adreno 420 GPU in the Snapdragon 805, it has the dynamic tessellation feature. So what it means is if I go in and I, uh, uh, I ask the GPU to slide, um, uh, to add more tessellation, the tessellation factor. You can look at how these triangles are being added to the existing geometry. And these geometry, this additional geometry, what it is doing is you, if you look closer to the ground, it's creating all these cracks and crevasses and effects. It's all done with, um, in combination of, with combination of tessellation and uh, uh, displacement mapping. You can also look at the close details of the, the back of the Hornet. It, were, it was completely not present before, and now you can see how it is being added. So this is dynamic, um, uh, basically adding more details to the high quality rendering of the existing um, games that you have. So this is, there's, a, there's an API for that called Tessellation. This is a new feature that we introduced, the Snapdragon 805. And this is very common, uh, commonly used on the highest end desktop PCs and gaming consoles. Now it is possible on mobile. So uh, we've delivered on the promise of bringing the console quality graphics to mobile with this Snapdragon 805. So this is another demo that we have. This is uh, a Unity based demo. We call it um, Maroon. And this is what this is showcasing is this is OpenGL ES3 abilities in Unity. So we have very close partnership with Unity. We worked uh, with them to have OpenGL ES3 from Snapdragon exposed through um, their engine. So anybody who's using Unity 4.0 can use um, uh, OpenGL S3 features. As you can see, this is rendering at 2560 by 1440, so 2K resolutions, pretty smooth. It's uh, more than 30 FPS, as you can see. And uh, it's, it's, uh, it's using some of the features, OpenGL S3 features, like transform feedback for the animation of the, the main character itself. It's also using uh, PCF shadows, wherever it has dynamic shadows, it's using um, uh, MRTs for post-processing effects, some geometry instancing for vegetation. So uh, pretty advanced uh, uh, effects on OpenGL ES3. Also ETC2, texture compression. So uh, these are something that were introduced uh, last, last year by Kronos with the OpenGL ES3 APIs. And as you can see, Snapdragon supports it and it's exposed through Unity um, and it runs pretty smooth. So any developers are, who are using Unity 4.0, can uh, take advantage of this on Snapdragon. So this is another game that we are showcasing called Injustice uh, Gods Amongst Us. This is based on Unreal Engine 3 and it's running, as you can see, it's running pretty smooth on Snapdragon. So um, uh, out of the box, uh, whoever is using Unreal Engine uh, 3 uh, is gonna get great experience on Snapdragon. Let me hit Superman here.